Hey, what's going on? My name's Andrew. You can call me Pooch. This is Boots. <laughs> and we'd like to welcome you to the Less Lonely channel. We're really glad you're here. Recently, I did a poll on Instagram asking people to let me know what they wanted to see me shoot as a flat leg. I really enjoy them and I was just curious, what did people want to see? I got a lot of great responses from different types of food, different pieces of gear, some of my own personal things, and boots. And here's the deal, people know I love shooting shoes. And so I was like, yeah, I can do some boots. But then the internet was like, no, not shoes. Boots the cat. Because you know, that's normal, right? That's what normal people wanna see is a cat flat lay. So that's what we're doing today. Cat flat lay. He's purring so much right now. It's really sweet. Let me see if you guys can hear it on the mic. Can you hear that? For a cat, he is incredibly sweet. But this is going to be an insane flat lay photo shoot challenge because this cat, despite his very chill demeanor at the moment, hates sitting still because he's a cat. So I'm asking myself, like, how are we gonna pull this off? And I think first things first is, we have to understand what a flat lay really is. And in my humble definition, a flat lay is essentially a top-down photo with an emphasis on patterns and shape display a collection of goods that are typically similar to one another or belong together. You see flat lays happen a lot with food photography, uh, gear dumps, everyday carry stuff. Really, <laughs> that's where they're most prominent and they look great. So when thinking about what things belong with a cat, I went to the local pet store and picked up a few basic things. Some catnip toys, some treats, and I'm gonna throw in some of the other things that you associate with the cat that we had lying around the house. Once I understood like what I wanted to have in the photo, obviously the next thing was gonna be setting up the shots. A quick Google image search of cat flat lay doesn't really yield any amazing results. No knock on the photographs that are already out there. The only thing I saw was there was one of a cat like looking up to the camera, but I wanna take this to the next level. Sir, we're not, we're not done. We're not done, hold on, <sighs> come on. I want the cat to be the centerpiece of the photo and have the toys kind of all around him. And what I really want is I really want him to be belly up. I wanna see this fluffy white belly that everyone wants to touch on a cat, but we know we can't because they're gonna murder us if we go in too close. Yeah, I'm sorry, see? Ooh. So for this photo shoot, just think super intentional. That's what we're going for. I think we're ready to do it. All right, we are a couple days later because Getting this set up was not easy. I tried to do it by myself. Taking a photo and then having a cat squirming around down below you is not easy. And so I needed to get some help. Luckily I was able to get some and take the photos today. I did want to show you guys the setup though that I had for the top down shot. All in all, it's pretty simple. Obviously we've got the key light here. That's giving me a nice top down light. I use my backdrop clamp to my charging station here. And then we've got our prop set up now. This didn't look like this earlier because obviously the cat has been here and has disrupted some things. But all in all, it worked out pretty well. Here's a quick top down angle for you guys just to see. So obviously, like I said, the cat has been here, but I tried to organize the things in the best way possible. That's the dog's food bowl. Some foods for some texture, the toys, all that good stuff. Now the challenges for this, I do think are exactly what I was expecting, mainly the cat. He's fussy. He's grumpy, he's just all over the place. And so trying to like pin him down to hold him to get the shots was really tricky. Other than that, trying to arrange the items in a compelling way or in a way that makes it feel like it belongs was also a bit tricky. But honestly, beside the glaring issues, it was a lot of fun. Honestly, this is such a ridiculous concept. This is not something I would normally do, but I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I'm covered in cat hair. I don't know if you can see it. Why not have some fun with our creativity? All in all, I'm honestly kind of happy with what we got. Check them out. So there you have it. My attempt at a cat flat lay. Boots, oh, he just bit me. Boots has been a really good uh, guy. Ah, ah. Stop it, ow. Boots was well behaved up until this moment. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and my cat. This was a really fun thing to do. I love not taking photography too seriously and this was a great way to do that. You help me feel less lonely. So thanks for sticking around. Please go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment, and ultimately subscribe to the channel so we can be creative together and feel less lonely. 
This dude is done. Look at his tail just going. All right. See you in the next one. Peace. You want to say goodbye? Say goodbye. Say goodbye to the people. Bye. What a guy. Peace.